Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as Astrogoth Ironhand leading the Chaos Dwarves to world domination. Previously we managed to wipe out the Saberskin and we also had a couple of great fights against Kolek. So we're going to be running him down into the Challenge Stone and hopefully knocking him out for good. Uh, then I'm looking at potentially coming back and dealing with Grimgore. Uh, but we will see how it goes. I think what I'm going to do is if we take the Challenge Stone and we can peace out with Dolgan afterwards, then we'll do that. If they don't want to peace, then we'll have to go kill them. And then we can just come back. I might have to get another army, though, in the meantime, depending on if any other enemies pop up, which there definitely is potential for. And we're not going to spend any of our cash. We're just going to chill out, I think. And, uh, yeah, we'll just wait so we don't go bankrupt. We do have a lot of armaments, but we're going to be using a lot of those to build the building, so we'll just hold on to them for now. That way we can complete the quest that Astrogoth got in the previous episode, which will give him his cloak. We just need a demon smithy. We could also speed up the construction of it with labor, because we do have an abundance of labor that we don't actually need at the moment. I might as well use it before we lose it to the control problems. So we can put the demon smithy in. And then we can rush the construction for 300 workers. We currently need 300 labor. So that's fine. That will give us the quest done. So we get 5,000 in the treasury. We get the stone mantle. And we get 25 conclave influence. Lovely jubbly. So we can give him that now. Ooh, hello, Dorgan. You've actually come to play. I didn't expect them to actually help that much. That is a lot of doggos. Quite a frustrating army to deal with, if I'm honest. I will have to probably ambush... If I can. Let's just have a look at ambush chance. So it's actually only 50%. You can get a 70% there. If we could ambush them, that might work better because then we can sit on top of the Norsk and Warhounds. This is really awkward though. Not going to lie. Can I maybe ambush in my own lands? I'm not sure why this is only 50% and this is 70%. Because if you look at like the terrain, you would assume that the trees or bushes or whatever they're supposed to be would be easier to ambush from, but I guess that's not the case. I think it's just because it's in the middle of these mountains. If we move here then I'm not going to have any replenishment for this turn. I think if we go in camp, then we'll get more replenishment. Alright, let's go ambush. I think the ambush is the best play. 70%. We'll try it. Okay. That will do. Uh, we do have a lot of money now, so I am tempted to build up the overseas camp. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm also tempted to recruit a Demon Smith Sorcerer. So Hashet would give us similar magic. Uh, to Astrograph as metal magic, which is pretty nice. That's actually a really nice buff as well. Extra income and post battle from post battle loot and the extra labor gained. I quite like the base spells of metal. 
I think the hatchet um, and well, yeah, hatchet is very good because of the hammer. Like I believe this hell hammer is very strong. Anyway, let's move on to the next turn. See if we get the ambush. I'm just going to leave it off fast forward so that we can keep an eye on those armies. Because if we don't get it, that's pretty important. Oh, okay, so we ambushed the heralds, but this isn't good because I mean, we're still going to fight it out. But we're going to have to make sure that we have enough to deal with Dolgan afterwards. They've already got two regiments of renown, that doesn't seem fair. I was also pretty convinced that they wouldn't be able to get more Dragon Ogres, but alas. There they are. We're going to just have the laborers like so. And like so. them on guard. We're going to try and take out the big boys first. I think that's the smart play. These can just hold the right flank. Okay, the first things first, we want to do Ash Storm, and we do this buff here, wow, look how much magic can you cast in one go. Right, we're going to move these around. Let's see about killing the dragon, I guess. That's pretty important. The cow spawner are already dead. Well, it looks like they're trying to actually run away, which is fine. We can let some of them go. I just got to get rid of the, the scary stuff. Okay, good. Keep the dragon ogres down. I need to chase them. Kill off the dragon ogres. Good. Kill off the trolls. Alright, well, that'll do. I'm totally okay with that outcome. We killed the chaos spawn and the dragon ogres, so yeah, we can deal with the rest afterwards nice and easy. And now we've got to survive the next attack. <laughs> so I will take the replenishment, even though it's a little bit. Because Dolgan's going to come knocking. For sure. We'll leave it off fast forward. Just in case they don't come knocking. And here we go. Are they ambushed? Okay. Interesting. That's not what I expected at all. Oh, we discovered them anyway. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we should probably get Temple Guardian. 
Like Murderous Charge is interesting, but I think like Guardian's just too good not to get. Denied. So we have a chance here to do some pretty disgusting moves. But first of all, let's choose our new research. Hmm. Getting this unlocked so that we can then go up to here would be a nice thing to do early on. Because then we benefit longer from having the extra raw materials output percentage. The other one that's nice is Hollow Rounds, but I don't think we need that yet. I think I'm going to go towards the uh, the finest leaders. We're going to do that. Okay. We're currently only on 86% efficiency. Why is that? Oh, probably because we, yeah, we built the strip mine. That's fine. We can potentially shift some labor over here. Like that. And that will push us up to 350 plus per turn, which is pretty nice. Yeah, we will go towards the high powered drill assembly line. We don't have enough labor to rush that, so we'll just chill. So that's that sorted. All right, next up, we're going to want to attack this chap. Gonna be a pain to fight out, but we're gonna have to fight it manually. Try not to lose too much so that we're in good shape to attack like two or three more armies. And the unfortunate part here is we can't really hold them there very easily. And they're gonna have stuff up here that's gonna come flank us, so. I'm almost tempted to fall back and fight in this choke, maybe. I don't want to give them the downhill charge. I guess what we could do is have Magobos like move forwards here and hold them there and then we have the cast off when the buses move up and, and kill everything on this side and then we have like this slot up here right uh maybe we leave a couple of hobgoblin archers there but we have more up there we can use these to hold the flank these to hold the flank I think we'll put Astrogoth here, but we'll put my Torok up there. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff up here we got to deal with as well. Alright, this is going to be an interesting fight for sure. gonna actually push in so that they don't just sit there. Thought they managed to get around us already. Well, let's uh, push in here. All right, let's shoot the Mortal Horsemen with the blunderbusses, and we can get shots over the top. Uh, the other thing we want to do is probably buff all of these. 
and then do an ash storm here. Because that way, all of those get imbued with fire damage is pretty good. And we also want to put these on guard. Oh, we're doing so much work over here. Actually kind of crazy. Didn't expect it to go so well. Shoot those marauders in the back. Let's have Astrogoth go and deal with the Marauder Chieftain. Yeah, good. That worked out okay. I don't think we lost too much that was important. try and kill a couple more. I think that's pretty much job done. We don't have much that we can chase down with at the moment, but when we get more renders, we can definitely chase down more to get more labor. So the thing that's probably going to really suck here is that we're going to be forced to take the replenishment every time, even though the labor is very juicy. Because without the replenishment, we're not going to be able to carry on with the battles. So, in this example, this kind of sucks because we're going to have to deal with the main army, the garrison. I don't know, this might not be that bad actually. Maybe it's the opportunity that I need to just finish things off. We are going to have the Hellhammer. Okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm definitely more willing to take this battle now. It's a lot to kill, but... Uh, I reckon we can do it. Let's just check the map. This map's actually pretty good for us. Especially if we can hold them in the chokes. If the reinforcements are coming in at like a weird angle, we might be able to just focus on them first as well. The reinforcements are actually coming in behind me, which is a good thing, because they have a very small area that they can move in. Uh, the big problem is that they all arrive at exactly the same time, so we're going to have to deal with the garrison and the main force at the same time. That's going to be very, very difficult. What I'm going to do, we're going to create two sets like this. We'll have these aiming like so. I might need these forwards a little bit more. Meanwhile, I do need to deal with this slot. Maybe I just have like my lords and stuff go charge into them.
Just holding the flank here is going to be a bit annoying. We'll just do it something like this. If they come and attack our backside here, that's fine, I think. These are all my relatively quick units, so we'll just focus on using these. Although, mm, yeah, okay, we'll charge him with these two. I don't think I should use these. At least not yet. And if they all pile in, we'll just do this. So this is the hammer spell. <laughs> um, <badoink. laughs> it's so strong. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we'll just finish them off there. That's absolutely fine. Alright, I'm going to bring Astrogoth back because they're going to be on the field in like 40 seconds and I'm going to need his hammer over there. That did the majority of the damage that we needed here. Like all of these units are never going to really recover. We just right click them and they die. That was really, really good. Yeah, let's bring all of the army back here now. Uh, we'll make sure that a couple of these are a bit further forwards. We don't want them all to be too close together because they'll have their abilities that they can use. Like that. Right, we're going to engage on the flank there. Uh, these need to come forwards. I need the hammer here now. Give him a nice bedoink. Very good. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Right, let's make sure that he's getting involved. And we just want to be firing through best we can. How much does this cost? 16? I guess it does a lot of damage. I'm going to target the Chaos Warriors there more specifically. These really need to be firing. Let's make sure that they are on guard. My Taurus can't die. All 
All right, gotta keep him in here. Uh, let's do one like, I don't know. We'll do one like this. That's big damage. I think we just fire everything into these. We just want them to run off. If we can. Just get them all to route. Very good. Because this has kind of become a bit unsustainable, I think. We're going to try and do as much damage to the Chaos Sorcerer as we can. Maybe try and take this Chaos Sorcerer out sooner would have been a good idea. Also, I could try and dodge this maybe, but... I don't want to sacrifice DPS, although I guess... Hmm, I don't know. They get knocked over anyway is what I was thinking, so it doesn't really matter. My Chaos Dwarves got pretty low there, they might be dead. And as much damage here as we can. The second, the army we attacked here, we actually don't need to chase. I mean, we can for laborers, but in terms of uh, killing off the army, they're going to be dead anyway. I'm somewhat worried that we're a bit locked into attacking this element. We'll leave it there. We'll see how it goes. Overall, that was a fantastic battle. But we are certainly pushing this army to the limit. <laughs> oh no, that's really bad. We can't attack the settlement. Oh no. That is terrible. That is probably worst case, actually. Let's reduce the cost of the Hellhammer. Because now we're like stuck in a position where we have to attack the settlement next turn, but they're going to have replenishment. I was really hoping we'd have range. That's so bad. Never cease. I think that we might have a chance if they just attack me straight away, which they might do. Oh, this is actually pretty nuts. How far we're pushing this army right now. <laughs> Losing my Chaos Dwarf Warrior was unfortunate. I was thinking I can probably replace it with a Regiment of Renown, right? We can, I think we unlocked Regiments of Renown now. Because we got to level 10. It's also very tempting to use my armaments, but we're not going to do that yet. How are we doing here? So we need 2,000 to upgrade that. Let's go ahead and pop the... Ah, I need... Uh, there as well. Oh, I was going to convert this to an outpost. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. I wanted more outposts. 
Yalkaz of Uzkalak. A chance of convoy ambush minus 50%. Interesting. Sale value of cargo plus 10%, plus 15%. Maximum convoy cargo capacity. I think Wayfinders is good, right? Just a solid minus 50%. Alright, well, I guess we, uh... We leave it there for this turn. I'm really scared about what's going to happen next turn. Not going to lie. Best case scenario, they just attack. If they have the garrison like just fully sorted immediately, that would suck. Okay, well, the army actually moved away. Interesting. Maybe Dolgan will attack us, though. Because Dolgan has a second army there. Tusked sons are coming over. They don't like. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this works. Although the garrison will be replenished again next turn. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> but yeah. At least we're leveling up the army, eh? <laughs> now, this time we're defending on this side of the map. I am going to defend here. It might seem silly because they'll be able to charge down on us, but it also means that my blunderbusses can fire over the heads of my men into the engagement. So we will just do something like this. I might leave a little gap because getting the blunderbusses to fire through might be a bit difficult otherwise. Uh, but yeah, we'll just chill like so. Okay, they are gonna come around my flank by the looks of things. We can just turn around there if we need to. There's more of a spearmen. Don't have shields. They just got minced. Let's just pull them back for the time being. Gotta be careful of the units coming behind me. Let me just fly my Tauros up here so that we can see what's going on. Doesn't look like they're actually flanking me. They're all tucked up on the left there. It's fine. Yeah, we can just shoot these mortars in the back. <laughs> it's absolutely brutal. Yeah, 
I really, really like the blunderbusses. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> They're actually like the perfect thing for the dwarves. Like, they are probably better than thunderers, maybe. Although I do like the range that thunderers have. Let's just demolish those Marauder Horsemen. And they're gone. <laughs> good. Uh, next unit, please. Oh, that's not good. No, not my Tauros. Dude, Tauros. Fly off to the middle of nowhere, please. Don't want to lose you. We'll go chase them down, I think, with the bull centaurs. Chaos spawn, obviously. We'll take them out first. Trolls. Get rid of the Marauders of Great Weapons. This is like Astrogoth's right click adventure right now. Oh, let's back a bit. Need to get the Marauders here, I think. have Astrogoth come back down. Uh, we can maybe do a hammer here. Might be a bit overkill, but might as well. And the aspiring champions are a bit annoying. We're taking out the Chaos Sorcerer Lord there very quickly. So these Hobgoblins actually run out of ammo. First time we've had that happen. Good battle when that happens. Very good battle. Let's shoot these aspiring champions, please. Good, right, we'll definitely run them down. 
Get rid of the aspiring champions is definitely a very good idea. Uh, maybe getting rid of the Chaos Trolls as well. We'll let my Bull Centaur run them down. We'll try and catch up to the Chaos Trolls in the meantime. It doesn't look like we're going to make it. I could maybe Ash Storm them. Slows them down. Okay, well we took out quite a few of them. That will do. Close victory. Alright, well we did that. Now we just need to do it again. <laughs> And uh, maybe, just maybe, it will work out. The biggest problem we have right now is the lack of a front line. Alright, see where this leaves us. We've got new convoy contracts, nice. A shift in supply and demand for industrial commodities in the world has resulted in a new convoy contracts arising. Incoming and outgoing options for convoy destinations have now changed and will do so every 10 turns. So orc. Scum, dare to ambush a convoy of the Drathzar. Bring them Hashet's wrath upon them. Okay. This will give Astrogoth his black hammer of Hashet, which is cool. We get an extra 5,000 casualty replacement rate for two turns. Not bad. So this is his quest battle. While well, Astrogoth remains the most powerful of the conclave, the sorcerers who rule Zarnagrund in Hashat's name, he is not immune to its machinations. Thus, it is Astrogoth's legion that has been charged with guarding and ensuring the safety of precious convoy of a precious convoy train. Could the convoy be lost, then the aging Astrogoth could suffer an irreversible loss in status amongst his peers. Protecting it shall be no small feat. The convoy must travel on one of the most perilous routes through the Darklands. Okay. Right, is there a garrison here? Yes, there is. This is the biggest amount of bullshit ever. But it is the last battle that we would have to do. Oh, it's frustrating, they got walls though. That might almost be a good thing. Let's jump on in. We have to win this. We can't not win this. Obviously that would delete our army, but more than that, they would make all of that we've done up to this point completely pointless. Other than getting levels for Astrogoth. So absolutely no pressure whatsoever. Uh, let's see. We need to get my Taurus out of here. That can't be close. All of these laborers can sacrifice themselves for this battle. We just need to win. That is it. All my melee forces are going to go for the gate. With Astrogoth. I might be a little bit careful with the Bull Centaur renders. I think having them later on would be better, so we'll keep them back. But otherwise, it's going to be all about the ranged forces. Oh, that's good, actually. They're not capturing these towers. That's really good. Really, really, really good. So what we need to do, break down the gate, 
get them to ball up on us. And then we can drop some good magic. I'm gonna save their ammo. Right, once we get inside, hopefully all of these units will come off the wall. Then we can climb up the wall with our blunderbusses, put them on the gatehouse, shoot down on everything that's here, and basically just slaughter them. It's such an important battle. It's just gross. Also, I shouldn't really be shooting them there. It's a waste of ammo. I need those marauders to come down as well. Let's just move everything in. Let's see if we'll, we'll, we'll try and climb up further to the right. Let's do that. I'm gonna buff up Astrogoth. So he has a bit of extra damage. coming down. That's good. Climb up, boys. Oh, they haven't come down. We've got debated. Alright, we'll have some gobos maybe come up and attack them. Let's do that. Engage the marauders with the sneaky gets. But otherwise, let's turn around here. They buff these up again. Let's get my renders in. We'll get my uh, Taurus over. Now this is a good place for a hammer. I don't know how like wide that is. I don't want to do it too close to my own guys, right? So that was fine. Uh, also, these should be on fire at all now. Perfect. Now we just let them come to us, kill them off. Just keep rinsing and repeating. Let's get this guy out of here. I'm not sure why they're running off in this direction. Grace 
Anyway, we're gonna have my Taurus fly away again. Is the tower shooting at it? I think the um, piercing tower here. I need to make sure that Astrogoth is holding them in front of the wall. Currently, just letting these kill off the Chaos Warriors here. It's pretty important. One of those Marauder Spearmen was so long health. I'm actually going to start moving these over. are nearly in position because I want to shoot these chaos trolls. Good. This has just been the craziest episode. It really has. Oh yeah, these aren't on fire at well. That might help. Will definitely speed things up a bit. We just let them push towards us, kill them off. Good. Here come the leaders. Right, let's have Astrogoth come forwards and try and bait them into attacking him. And they're not having any of it. Alright, that's fine. We can just move these down off the walls. We don't want to be stood up here forever because that piercing tower is doing damage. Uh, so let's keep things sped up. Slow it down then. Let's target the other guy. Will let Ashgoth run down the exalted hero? Not for any party, much. Good. He's dead. Could be army losses soon, surely. Barely anything left. 
Those things are already routing. There we go. We did it. Crikey. What a series of events that has been. Damn. Loads of experience for Astrogoth. Absolutely tons. Like a 2,900 experience from that battle. And we're going to occupy this as a tower for sure. Could occupy it at level 2. Use up my Conclave influence. I'm not going to do that. I am definitely, obviously, taking it though. That is very important. Alright. With all of that done, we should be actually pretty friendly with these people. Never mind. They are actually minus 100. You know what's probably going to happen? <laughs> They're going to declare war on us. That would be a big oof. For now, uh, let's just chuck some orc laborers in there. And I should, oh, I'm should i almost tempted to go toward Lodge Session so we can get some more replenishment rate. Going to need it, that's for sure. We can go for Basalt Body now and unlock some of his special uh, special stuff. The Winds of Magic cost reduction for Hellhammer. Minus six? Wow. Okay. Extra hero capacity for all heroes. Extra hero and lord recruit rank. Minus 20% upkeep for Bull Centaur renders. Ar minus armament cost. Getting this early on would be good. This is also quite nice to get early on because it would enable us to get trade agreements and non aggression packs with other Chaos Dwarves. Like, this almost seems like a good shout. All of these seem really, really good, to be honest. This is nice early on, but we don't need it just yet. I think getting friends and raid is a good shout, so we're going to focus on that. Uh, this chap can just get spread control. Maybe training as well, but I don't think that's as important. Give him his bull gore. Let's do that. Alright, what do we build here? I definitely want to build the ash level. But it requires me to upgrade this. So I think for now we could do patrol routes. And maybe the Fane Guard. I think getting a bigger garrison here is going to be pretty important. So we'll do Fane Guard, and I think we do patrol routes for the control, and also the campaign map movement range is pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. That was an absolutely incredible episode. And we got a lot of work done there. <laughs> absolutely loads. We not only wiped out uh, Colex armies, we've also dealt with Dolgan's armies. Which means I think it is a good idea for me to attack Dragon's Death and Floating Mountain. But that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.